so sorry for going live last night and taking up some of your time. I was totally convinced yesterday was Wednesday. God knows how long I've been running a day behind for. Um, so sorry about that. Today is Wednesday um, and I'm going to be going through the Magpie sticker application with you um, and showing you some leopard print too. So these are a few designs that I have been busy doing with the stickers. As you can see, there's loads of different ones. Hey Sinead, let us know if you can hear me all right and see okay. Hi Sarah. I know the internet's been a bit funny recently with everyone on, but hopefully we're all good. Hiya Chloe. So I'm absolutely addicted, addicted to the stickers. Um, there are so many different packs that you can get. These are a few of them. I've got a full haul of them all on my YouTube um, and I'll leave a link to that video um, in the comments so that you guys can check that out if you want to see them all. But they're absolutely brilliant because you can use them in the salon so quick um, and easily. And if you're not feeling so creative, they're brilliant for just kind of spurring you on a bit. You know, you can pick out a pack, a themed pack of anything um, and design your nails around them. So there's loads of different ones. We've got bumblebee ones and little chains. They're super nice and flat, so you can see as well, they stick really well um, to the nail. These are what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to show you this one, and I'm going to show you this one as well. I love a bit of leopard print. And they're quite um, flexible as well. Like this little line here, you can move... Um, the straight lines so that they're like flexi tape. So there's so many, so many different possibilities that you can do with these. Okay, cool. We can all hear. Oh no, are we a wee bit blurry? Sorry guys, I don't think there's anything I can do about it. Hopefully it'll, um, it'll catch up with it. If it's a bit blurry, maybe go out of the live um, and click on it again. Maybe it just needs some buffering buffering time, but I think it's just because so many people are um, are using the internet. So I'll quickly go through um, the products that I'm gonna be using for today. Oh. So I'm gonna be using a base of Fanny Annie. This is my absolute favorite, favorite nude, most popular nude in the salon um, and that's what I'm going to be using as my base today and then I'm going to be going in with Jenny Wren which is just a slightly darker nude really lovely and I'm going to be using that um, to create an almost negative space style on one of them and then I'm going to be filling in my spots using pat cake which I think is a totally forgotten colour it's a beautiful shimmery brown I don't know if you can really see the shimmers there, but it's gorgeous and really nice for leopard print because it gives you a bit of a little bit of something extra. I'm also going to be using the black gel paint. This is fabulous for doing any artwork. I'm going to be using my faithful favourites, Gimme Strength and Don't Be Tacky. These are awesome. If you do not have these, you need to order them. Um, they're what I use in pretty much every single design. What else am I going to be using? My Magpie tweezers. These are absolutely brilliant for the stickers because they are that point and not like a, a flat one, if that makes sense to you. These are a lot easier to pick the stickers up with. So you can get them as well. I'm going to be using my flexi scissors. Um, these are good for just cutting your stickers into shape. Tools I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using my dotting tool. So you've got two ends on this, you've got a bigger one and you've got a smaller size. And I'm gonna be using my detailer brush. So this is a super fine, fine brush. If you're buying the brushes, buy the lids, do yourself a favor, because if not, they'll get wrecked. Okay, so where is my, my nail tip? Can you all hear me? I don't know if Jenny's got, Jenny can't hear me. Let me know. 
but yeah just try going in and out of it if you're if you're struggling with the the sounds or the um or the quality so i'm just beginning by going in with a base of fanny annie beautiful nude I'm going to use this as the base for both of my designs. And we're going to do two coats. There we go. Pop this one in. Let me just pop this on my iPad so I can keep up with your comments. Cool, you can hear. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Right, get another layer of Fanny Annie on here. Such good coverage with these gels. Loads of people think that, um, oh, my lamp's turned off on me, there you go. Loads of people think that because the gels are so pigmented, you really need to go in with a, with a thick layer but it's the opposite. You still want to keep, you know, even coats. Not super thin, but not super thick. But yeah, they're beautiful coverage in one coat. Pop that one in. Okay. So going in with my second layer of Fanny Annie. Okay, nice warm nude. Pop that guy in. And then what I'm gonna do is for this design one, we're gonna do a diagonal um, pop with Jenny Wren, just so we've got a kind of different tone there. Now, if you're doing diagonal strips, I actually find it all right just, you know, going straight in with straight in with my um, brush from the bottle. But if you are struggling with that, just grab your Magpie applicator brush. I'm getting ahead of myself. I need a second coat on this one. Not your applicator brush, your striper brush. I've got a serious lockdown brain. Um, and that'll help you with getting those nice straight lines. When you're working on nail tips that are this size as well, it's a lot harder, I think, to do larger nails than smaller smaller nails. So if you're if you're struggling, maybe try working on a a smaller tip and see how you go. Okay, so I'll pop that one into cure. Now what I'm gonna do before I go ahead and um, go in with Jenny Wren. I'm just gonna do a quick cleanse using PrEP and Dehydrate. And the reason that we use PrEP and Dehydrate to cleanse rather than this PrEP and Dehydrate, um, I've popped it in a wee squishy, squishy bottle. Um, cleanser's got oils in it. So if you use that, then what you can get is little bubbles on the nails, almost it looks like. Um, so use your use your prep to to give it a wee cleanse. I'm just gonna give that a good rub, and that's just gonna stop any of that base color leading into my um my diagonal line. So Jenny Wren, I'm gonna go in with a nice gentle touch, um, and I'm gonna go from top corner to bottom corner. Just laying that brush flat, nice and gentle, letting it do the work for me. Okay. Just gonna pull that, pull that out a bit there. 
I'm going to pull it a wee bit more up at the top. Turn it around and make my life a wee bit easier. Now this doesn't need to be totally perfect because we're going to go in with a sticker. Um, so I'm just going to pull that a wee bit more. Definitely not the most perfect line, but she'll do for now. Okay, so we've gone in with our second colour. Grab a wee bit there. And we're going to pop this into the light to cure for another 60 seconds. What colour tone is Fanny Annie? She's a gorgeous nude. On the warmer side rather than the beiger side. I'm absolutely useless with um, describing colours. Maybe one of the, the other gals watching can give you a more, more colour tone. Okay, so what I'm going to do again with this one, prep and dehydrate. And I'm just going to give that a wee rub over so that none of our gels are going to spill into the other ones. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my glass mixing palette and I'm going to chuck on some of pat cake. Which is a gorgeous, gorgeous shimmery brown. Probably don't need that much. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our dotting tool and I'm going to go in with the larger end just because this is such a big nail. And what we're going to do is create splodges. Such a technical term. So we're going to totally load our dotting tool up. I'm going to give it a wee spin in there. So I've got a good amount. And we are going to just randomly go on the nail. Balancing with my pinky there and just popping that product down. Literally just creating a wee splodge. Now what I do want to make sure is that all my dots are going in the same direction. So I'm going to have them all going slightly diagonally pointing that way as it would be, um, you know, if you've got fur and you brush it one way with your hand or brush it the other way, they're all going to be going the same way. So I'm going to try and go just randomly, big sizes and little ones. Just covering the nail. Think of them as wee fried eggs. They're all going to be slightly different shapes of splodges. have some coming up from the edges like so and you don't want it to be too overcrowded at the moment because we're gonna add um you know outer edges to these and we're also gonna add little black dots so give yourself some space And just do different sizes. Looking like a wee giraffe at the moment. Okay, I'm going to chuck that in before I go overkill. So popping that one into cure. Now we've got this guy. And I'm just going to go in with another... Thin layer. In fact, you know, because we're doing leopard print, I'm just going to leave that one. So I'm just going to give it a wee cleanse again with prep and dehydrate. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. And we're going to make sure that we do not cross over this line. We're just going to be putting um, our dots on the darker 
darker side of the nude. Oh, can you see that there, guys? Can you see that bubbling there? That's me applying the gel too thickly. If you ever get that on your gels, you've gone in too thick with your product. Um, so just make sure you're working in, in thin coats. So I'm just going to pop these on. I'm going to change over to the smaller side side head of this tool now just so I can get a few different sizes but remember we're not going to go over that line pop a wee guy here cover my mistake you didn't see that okay I'm going to pop this one in secure this one a wee wipe and then we're gonna go and fill our edges with the black and a good wipe there we go I'm gonna get some of the black now it's up to you when you're going around your edges if you want to use um, your dotting tool or if you want to use your detailer really depends what size and nail you're working on, to be honest, because you're obviously going to get a much um, finer application using your your detailer, but a lot of people find it easier using a dotting tool. Um, up to you. Have a play around and, and see what works best for you. So what we're going to do is... Grab a bit of my black. I'll just show you using the dotting tool first. So I'm just going to go around my edge there. And it's just like a little C. Not a perfect C. It's as if a toddler has drawn a C. So it's going to be a bit, a bit wonky. And you don't want them to, um, to touch. You don't want full circles around your print, you just want little bits like that. Okay, so that's it, using the dotting tool, I always go for the, the detailer brush because I think it's just too chunky like that. So I'm gonna go in with my detailer brush, loading it up, wiping it to the side. And a good bit of product on my brush. And just going round my edges. Like so. Dipping that product in. Placing my brush down. And dragging it round. Gonna get a wee corner there. So you can see the massive difference. See when you're using a dotting tool, it just looks messy. Whereas if you can use your, your detailer brush and get to grips with that, you're going to get an, a much nicer print. I mean, it still looks like leopard print-ish with your dotting tool, but I'd much rather my detailer. Just got to go in with a, a wee bit more product than um, what you would if you were creating um, a line. You know, I've got a, I've got a bubble on my brush there, like that. Whereas if I was doing a, a straight line, I'd be wiping and wiping and wiping until it was, you know, a lot thinner. So... Just going round randomly on my leopard prints. What question have we got? Yeah, we're cleansing to stop any colour transfer from the other the other gel colours. You don't need to cleanse with the paints, they don't have a tacky layer, but your 
your actual gel colours, they've got a they've got that tacky layer so they can it can spread and it's there's nothing more soul destroying than when you've done a design and then you go to top coat it or something and then it all just smudges. So just grabbing them edges. Almost there. It's definitely a process. Just take your time with it though. And don't flap if it doesn't look totally perfect because it really doesn't come together until you've till you've finished it. Okay, so just grabbing them edges, a couple more. that one in there and then grab that edge and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my dotting tool again I'm gonna go on with my thin side and I'm gonna create a few little black splodges I hate the word splodge but I just don't have a I don't have a technical term for that shape Apart from wee fried egg, which isn't exactly technical either. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill in some of the gaps. Just like that. And then just to pull this together, I'm going to do some dots using my detailer. So you can get super thin dots using your detailer brush. And I'm just going to do a couple... of we three dots like that and I just think this brings it totally together when you add them little dots oh June's watching June is the leopard print queen she just said on her Instagram with uh, Nina Cherry I think and they were beautiful I think it was like a French a French style leopard print she did so nice Okay, so just adding a couple dots here and there. And then we're going to go on with our stickers on top of this. Another wee black splodge there. Okay, so we've got our pretty much print sorted there. And I'm going to go with my other nail. I'm going to cleanse it again so that we don't have anything spreading anywhere we don't want we're just going to do the same just going to cover the edges of our splodges with little little we sees grabbing some product there just making sure we're not crossing over that line just working at it Remember, you don't want them to touch, you don't want full circles, and you don't want them to be the same either. Sorry if this is a wee bit repetitive, guys. We'll be on to the fun stickers soon. Have you guys all seen that the nail art courses have now been accredited online? All the educators have been posting them. Um, there are dates on the group, so give it a wee search at the search bar if you're not sure. I'm so excited to get going with these. They are totally fully accredited, so they're not, you know, just little workshops. They are full seven-hour courses that are split into two three-and-a-half-hour sessions over two days. Um, so it's a brilliant investment and something to keep you busy at this time. You get a beautiful magpie certificate and manual and badge. Um, and they're filling up quick. So if you want more information on that, you can email help at magpiebeauty.co.uk and keep an eye on the educators' Instagrams um, for their dates and things. 
maybe some of the educators will post um, their email in the comments if they've got spaces and that. Cannot wait to get going with them. Okay, so. Almost full with my spuds. So then I'm going to do some slightly larger dots in black. And then we're going to do our little dots. There we go. Just to fill that design up. Okay. So, chuck this guy in. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go in with a layer of Gimme Strength. Wipe these off my dish. Because I've been working at a window, it's literally been curing my gels onto my dishes. So make sure you're wiping your gels. And ideally, just don't be as silly as me and work in front of a window. Because you'll be so surprised at how quickly it can cure your, your products, especially on your brushes. What I'm going to do for my brush is I'm just going to get a clean bit of um, kitchen roll and I'm literally, what I do is I hold it like that with my fingers and give the brush a wee roll like that and pull it through. Don't want any liquids on your brushes because that can wreck them. But even if you do wreck your brush, keep it because there are so many uses for your older brushes. You know, if, if you're doing inkies and things... Sarah did an awesome live on the inkies yesterday. If you missed that, you can see it at the announcements page. But they're brilliant for using, um, you know, for other things. So never check your, never check your brushes. They will come in handy. So I've got a good layer of gimme strength on there. Cause this is leopard prints and they're dots. If this was my client, I'd be holding it upside down for a good five to ten seconds. And that's just going to bring the product um, nice and even. Okay, chuck that one into cure. Then we're going to do the same with this little guy. Pop in a layer of Gimme Strength. And the reason I'm going in with a layer of Strength uh, give me strength and not just going straight on with the stickers is because there's an inhibition layer with give me strength that's going to give me um you know the ability to move the stickers on the nail whereas you can you can totally go in with just prep and dehydrate and just cleanse the nail and just pop your sticker on but it's going to be quite tricky to move it whereas with um with Gimme Strength, you're gonna have a, a, wee bit of, a wee bit of leeway. So for the designs I was practicing earlier, um, this was a smaller nail, this little stud. This was the pack that I used. These are rose gold and they're absolutely stunning. The stickers come in rose gold, gold and silver. So there's so many, so many options, but because I'm working on a larger nail, I'm gonna go with these bad boys. So you get your little your little step-by-step -step on the back there. I'm just going to open this guy up. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're just stunning. I love them so much. So many options. Right, what one will I go for? Okay, you're ready to come out. So I'm going to use them for my other one. For this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wee heart. This is one I was practicing earlier. This is a slightly different style of leopard print with the, with the scratchy bits. This is what I usually teach on the, um, the silver course. It's a bit um, trickier to get them lines like that, but that's what I usually go for on the silver. But we're keeping it basic today. So what I'm going to grab is this pack, the party pack, and open this up. 
so. For getting your stickers off of the pack, what you wanna do is get your finger and pop it underneath whatever sticker you wanna do, okay? And then you're really gonna roll it like that. So you've got it totally covered. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna tease it. I'm not gonna try hard because they, these are so thin and delicate. You don't wanna flip them up um, and have them, you can like bend them and things. So treat them with care. Right, I'm just gonna chuck that on there. And see, cause I've got that gimme strength. I can move it around. So I think I'm gonna pop him just there. And I'm just gonna make sure that he is nice and flat. Okay. I think he's a bit skewiff, is he? There we go. I mean, you could totally leave it like that if you wanted, but I'm going to fill it in with a bit of Jenny Wren. It's just one of the ways that you can use the stickers. You know, you can use them to colour in um, little sections like that. Done it with the hearts and the stars. So all these little things can be quite difficult to draw on the nail and definitely time consuming. So if you get your hands on the stickers, you can save yourself some time. Okay, so same again, I'm rolling my dotting tool into my product and I'm just ever so lightly gonna pop this in the center of that heart. And cause the gels are so pigmented, it's gonna um, cover your background quite nicely. I probably will do two coats of this, but I just think it's cute when you fill them in a little bit. How are we doing? How does that look? Going a wee bit over. Okay, so I'm going to pop that one into Cure. Oh. Then we're going to go in with this guy. So these are an absolute godsend for doing straight lines because if you know if you weren't confident just going straight in like that, you could just grab one of these um, and put it on first and you know go up to it but everyone's different everyone finds different things easier than others so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop my finger underneath give it a wee bend and give it a wee tease okay and i'm actually gonna cut this guy whoa So we've got him cut and the key when you're doing long bits like this you really want to pull it tight it's gonna be so difficult on so difficult on camera I'm just gonna pop that straight there it's all right I'm stuck okay and I'm just gonna Pop it into place like that. It just totally completes the look there. And now what I'm going to do, this is really important when you're working off the edges like this. So I'm going to grab my scissors. I'm just going to cut that just so that we don't have oh <laughs> any bits going off the, the edges. Stickers are, oh no, they're wee fiddly things, aren't they? But I think they're totally worth it. Shaking like a leaf. It's like I'm doing heart surgery. Right. Hi, Danielle. Okay. So, happy with that? Pop him down. 
Nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is... I really needed another... Yeah, I'll maybe just go in with another layer of Grimmy Strength just so that we are all nice and secure. And then we'll top coat them. Nice. Pop him in. And then with our other one, are we going to add... Yeah, I think I'll just go in with a tiny bit more of Jenny Wren. Just so that I'm nice and covered here. Just filling that in. Fluff everywhere. Bane of my life. Cool. So I'm going to pop that into Cure for another 60 seconds. And then we're going to get nice and top coated. Sorry if I've been abandoning the comments. I, I can't really see because I'm on my phone. It's not been in my iPad. But hopefully the girls have, have answered any of your questions. Okay. Now, what you can do, because this is on the edge, you can just grab a file. I've got one handy. Oh. And just give it a wee, wee file on the edge, just in case you've got a wee bit like that sticking out. Your clients will love to pick that. So, you know, if this was on a, on a real nail, obviously I wouldn't be able to do that. You just got to make sure you're cutting it at an angle before the cuticle so that they're not tempted to pick. Okay, so don't be tacky now. Just to finish this design off. I absolutely love this top coat. It's my favorite top coat by far. I have a few different ones. We've got Shine Bright and Don't Be Tacky. And this is a no wipe top coat, but I just think the shine is just stunning on this. So again, I'm gonna hold it upside down just so that that product is nice and even. Pull this back around. Still a bit lumpy bumpy. Hold it for a wee minute. You might find that you do have to go in with a bit extra gimme strength and um, top coat than usual with these designs, just because you've got that. Um, yeah, it's looking better, isn't it? Just because you've got them bumps. That one into cure. Okay. Um, we'll give this guy a top coat. Yes, Chloe, have a go tomorrow. Give us a tag. It's been so nice seeing all your um creations from the live. I think it's such a good way to just get us all a wee bit motivated and going. So easy to just fall into, you know, like a lockdown slump, which is okay. It's nice to have time and take some time to chill, but definitely took me a couple of weeks to get into it. So yeah, I'm loving, loving the lives. And make sure you tag us all everywhere. Yeah, pop that on into cure, and then that'll be us. Pop them in. Oh, file is not wanting to work for me. Okay, so that is this guy all cured and ready to go. Classy leopard. Just think it adds so much more having the stickers on it. You know? I love these ones as well. These are like little cuffs. 
Would you be able to post a picture of the designs you've done? Yes, Chloe. They will all be posted in the group. Um, I'll get some nice pictures. I'll get them on the gram. Sorry about the quality, guys. I, I do just think it's um, everyone being on the internet at once. We're on prime time. Prime live time. Okay, so that's our other guy sorted. So there we go, guys. Two nice and simple leopard print designs with some extra bouginess from the Magpie stickers. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it's not been too boring for you. I will um, go and read through the comments. Um, you like my background ones? I think these are for you, June. Proper funky leopards. But yeah, I will. I'll, I'll do my best to get back to you um, in the comments and I'll pop in my video hauling all the, all the stickers so you can have a nosy. But thanks so much for watching, guys. And we'll hopefully see you again soon. Bye.